send and send oh my goodness finished my degree <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel with another video it's me Aina so for this vlog I kind of want to do a reading vlog plus book review at the end of this video for the new book that I just recently purchased at Sutaya Bookstore which is called A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. So I just started reading this last night so I'm actually just finished chapter 1 and moving into chapter 2 and I kind of want to do a reading vlog for it because why not? At least I have something that I kind of want to do to film. If you guys didn't watch my previous video, which is the bookstore vlog that I went to Sutaya Bookstore, um, I kind of like did a little synopsis about this book. So just to like recap that in this video, um, basically this book is about Galadriel or her name is Elle. She's in this school called the Scholomans. She's basically learning about magic and like how to use her own magic and basically I'm learning how the magical world in this because it's completely different than the magical world that I know like Harry Potter. So this is like a bit different in my opinion. The Scholomans is a magical school where all teenagers who are witch and wizards or like descendants from witch and wizards they go to this school to learn about magic and like how to control their magic and also there's this two set of magic that i just learned called malia and Ma mana mana i don't know how to pronounce it but it's malia and mana so what i understand is in this story malia is actually a powerful magic that you get from a life force or like a living thing but it's actually kind of like a booster magic from Mena because Mena is just your own power or magic that you have but it's not that strong so I kind of need to understand a little bit of the like magical mechanism in this storyline so okay this book is about Galadriel she's in the Skullmans and she's learning about magic and apparently for her senior year or like during her graduation she is she has to like fight these magical evil beings called Malefic Me called Maleficaria that's how you pronounce it from what i understand about Maleficaria is that those are evil magical beings which is controlled by maleficers which is evil witch or wizards is what they call it at first i didn't plan on annotating this book because i just wanted to enjoy like reading this novel but once i was reading the first chapter i noticed a lot of like terms or like system of magic that this storyline is using and how the author is writing it so i was like okay i know that this book or this series has three books like three installments of the series so i kind of want to keep up to date or like keep up with the terms and how the magic system it is in this book so that's why i started annotating i decided to like tab three things which is the yellow one is for learning about the story's magical world the orange one is basically Elle's humor or funny dialogues because she is quite funny like her little comebacks or like little dialogues that she has to me i just find it comical and the blue one of course since blue is my favorite color i put it as favorite sentence um paragraph or moments so so far i have one blue tags a couple of orange and quite a lot of yellows i just started reading this i will update you guys a bit later when i reach the 10th chapter because this book has 13 chapters so I'm planning to do this within three days, so like 10 chapters a day. Um, even though I just started reading this last night and I'm only on chapter 2. So bear with me, okay? Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys and update you guys a bit later. Bye! <laughs>
So I just finished filming another video um, just now and this is the aftermath of that video. <laughs> These are the books that I was talking about in my previous video and I think that video will be out first compared to this new reading vlog for a deadly education good afternoon people it is a monday i have a little bit of time so i am editing the mid-year freak out book tag video you can't see me but hello hopefully you guys are doing great on a monday and yeah it's pretty gloomy outside don't know, you can see it's pretty gloomy outside and it stopped raining so hopefully it won't rain after this because i am cold <laughs> it was 69 minutes so i've edited down to 57 minutes so far so i still have a long way to edit hopefully it's not going to take long because this video was quite a mess or like it was quite of a hassle to film because I was stuttering a lot and like try to recap my mind and thoughts about all the books that I was sharing in this video. I think it's gonna turn out great hopefully. I kind of want to update on my reading for this book. Um, I haven't moved a lot. I'm s just starting chapter 3 but so far it's quite nice, the story. I'm really enjoying it. I love Galadriel's little funny dialogues that she has. It's really interesting to read about her and like get to know her life basically and how she is. So I think I'll save most of my thoughts and feelings like after I reach the 10th chapter. So I'm going to continue reading this today and hopefully I can do the 10th chapter update later. Yeah. I finally finished editing this mid-year book tag video and it is exporting. So it will be up tomorrow, hopefully. Now I just have to edit the thumbnail and put this on youtube to schedule it for tomorrow at 1 30 p.m so yeah i'm actually really excited because i thought this would be a flop but i'm so glad that it's not a flop <laughs> so yeah if you guys haven't checked this video out please do ignore how dark my room is i just like being in the dark so here's an update i just reached chapter i just finished chapter five going on chapter six actually i'm already reading chapter six now i did some notes because i kind of want to like have my thoughts organized by the end of this video when i do a full review but so far it's actually really interesting and the book has been engaging like the story has been quite engaging because once I finished chapter 3, I think, I had a bit of a slump because I just didn't feel like reading for some reason. But then again, when I started like reading again, like continued the chapter 3 until chapter 6, I was just like, damn, okay, the story is just starting because of things that has been happening so far. Um, and oh my god, Elle's and Orion's relationship, or like friendship, has been really entertaining. I love their little quarrel from time to time. You can see, like I think in chapter 5, you will learn why Elle is the way she is. Because she has this like built up anger since she was young. So I think in chapter 5, yeah, in chapter 5, the author finally like explain why she is the way she is. The purple one is plot or hints or foreshadowing. Um, just like some moments in the chapters, I feel like, oh, this is foreshadowing something or like, oh, something's going to happen. So this is like a hint of what's going to happen. So yeah, that's the update for now. I'll talk to you guys again when I reach chapter 10 because this book has a total of 13 chapters and I am trying to finish this over the weekend because during the weekdays, the couple of days ago, I didn't read much. 
so yeah i'm gonna try to finish this over the weekend um hi so it might be like a few seconds from the last clip to this clip but it's been a few days for me so i already finished the skullman's a deadly education um the last time i updated was like chapter five the chapter five update so i actually wanted to do the chapter 10 update but then again i had three chapters left so i just finished the whole book last weekend so yeah it's been a couple of days or it's been a whole week actually since i finished reading this and I guess you guys can notice some different things about me. <laughs> I finally got a septum piercing. Ooh. This is crazy because I want to talk about this but I'm not sure in which video that I'm planning to talk about so I think I can just add this bit in for a quick second. I've heard a lot of people saying that oh getting your septum pierced is actually not that painful. It was kind of painful to me. <laughs> To me, um, the pain was like an 8 out of 10, but it was only like a quick second of an 8 out of 10 pain. I literally teared up, like I'm gonna insert a clip of me literally tearing up when I got it pierced and it was just crazy. I didn't know what to expect, I was kind of anxious, but then again I was just like in a daze because this whole time I never thought I would actually get my septum pierced because I just never thought I would ever get it. I would just daydream about it but never really go and get it pierced. But the journey there, which was like a 30 minute drive with my two best friends, I was just sitting in the car, I was just dazed. I was just like, na 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 While Fika driving in a rage because she's so stressful with people being so slow in driving. And my other best friend Olivia is just sitting in the back and just chilling and I'm like, na 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 na. <laughs> So when we got there, um, yeah, I still had no thoughts in my head when the piercer like stuck the needle in. It was like a quick second of a very painful pinch, if you know what I mean. It was just like one quick second of pain and then you just don't feel it anymore. So that's my opinion of the pain range for a septum and I hope that makes sense. Back to the main purpose of this video, this book reveal. I don't have much to say about this because I honestly love this book. I think it's a great book, it's good writing, I love the plot, I love the storyline, I love the writing structure, I, I love the writing style. Some sentences and paragraphs, they do have like a poetic feel to it. So I always take note of that in my books that I'm reading. I always find some sentence or words or phrases that the author used and it just sounds poetic in my opinion. I love the characters and how the characters was and how like they progressively grow, especially for Galadriel. I'm still not sure how to pronounce her name correctly, Galadriel or Galadriel because her short form name is L, so I guess you pronounce it Galadriel. And Orion, I'm guessing Orion is how you pronounce it because of Orion's belt. And funnily, L did make a joke about Orion's belt, which is quite funny. Like I said before, L has quite a few, or like quite a number of funny inner monologues or like funny comebacks whenever she talks with Orion or like bicker with Orion. Basically every time she and Orion have like a conversation, it's not really a conversation, it's literally her bickering with Orion and Orion being absolutely stupid. But at the same time, he's cute. Like his personality and his character is cute because to Elle, he's just this stupid um, guy who wants to be the hero but at the same time, the things he say, I can understand why Elle is so annoyed and frustrated with him because he's he's just funny in a way, okay? And Elle, like how she is with Orion is quite funny too because, you know, she hates him, she wishes she could kill him, but at the same time, I find it like interesting how their two are paired together because you can really see how different they are but at the same time they are quite similar so like 
both of their backstory is quite similar and if you guys want to know like more deeply about them you guys have to read the book because if i tell you guys then it will be a complete spoiler i just want to like put it out there because i've seen some reviews online because before this when i wanted to like think of my final review for this book i actually looked up online to see some other readers that have reviewed this book and one of them is quite similar to how i feel because once you reach chapter three it's going to be a bit slow so when i reached chapter three i had i actually had a bit of a slump into continuing this book and I don't know why, I just didn't felt like reading. Once you started chapter 2, it was it's still quite interesting, but once you start chapter 3, it was a bit slow because a lot of the writings in here is basically like explaining explaining about the magical system, the magical world and explaining some terms like apparently um in this book or in this universe, they have these two terms for magic which is ma I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's pr I think it's pronounced as mana and malia, or mana and malia. So it's mana and malia. Those are the two like magic powers that each wizards and witches have, and malia is the dark power, while mana is the good power. It's really interesting to learn about this magical book because like the last time i read a book about magical is literally the harry potter series and of course the harry potter world it has its own magical system it has its own you know um magical world and terms even creatures of their own like of course jk rowling is a genius for that so to like read another book that is totally different and has its own magical system is quite interesting and it's to me it's like a breath of fresh air because i haven't read many of books that are magic based plots so this is quite new and really interesting that's why i was like really attracted to this book when i first bought it i learned about the school basically and it's quite hard to understand at first but then again as you read through you'll pick it up instantly like oh okay this school is technically in a void and it shapes like a screw so if you can like imagine that then you would understand the process of the school's system basically at the bottom of the school there's this graduation hall where basically all the seniors have to like kill the maleficaria which is basically evil magical demons or creatures that eats wizards and wizards and witches. <laughs> so all the seniors are like when they graduate they have to like kill those creatures in order to leave the school. That's basically it. Like this whole book. That's basically it or like that's basically what the school is. What I understand from the plot of this book is that Maleficaria they eat wizards and witches and mostly they prey on young or like young children that are witches and wizards. So why did you build a school which has a lot of those evil creatures at the bottom of the school waiting and crawling into their school when they can and this school has like no protection like they literally have to protect themselves and that's another interesting part of this book because to me this book has the vibe of what did i tell my sister this book has the feeling or vibe like the mace runner and at the same time kind of like harry potter because it's magical but mace runner is because they're in the school without any adults and they have to learn about magic on their own it has the vibe of mace runner because they're in this school with no adults and dark creatures running around or like roaming around the halls and the vents so they have to like protect themselves and also they have to like build alliances by the end of graduation because if they build alliances they would you know have a bigger chance in getting out of the school without dying at the same time if they make alliance with enclavers which are these students or like children of wizards and witches who are in an enclave 
And what I understand in Clave is kind of like a coven, like a witch's and wizard's coven. So that's what I understand for the term. If you create an alliance with enclavers, you might have a shot in going into their enclave. Another thing I enjoyed this book is that you get to see how Elle grow from the start to the end of the book. You get to understand her, why she is the way she is, like why she's always angry and why she's always have this wall built up around her and how people actually treat her but she never really did anything wrong to those people. So like I think once you hit chapter 5, you will understand deeply about her and at the same time as you read through after chapter 5, you will also understand more deeply about Orion but how the author writes about Orion is quite interesting because there's this one character who is talking about Orion but um, you get to understand about Orion from this character's point of view but at the same time um, Elle's dialogues or what she tries to um, not rebut or like try to talk over the second character about Orion then you get to see another perspective of Orion through Elle so it's quite interesting because like you you know the the book or other people sees Orion as this one big hero but at the same time that's not who he is trying to actually be and you get to learn something other like something more interesting and more deeply about Orion and who he is and like how he has been from his childhood so that's really interesting to learn lastly I want to talk about the plot and the ending um the ending was just what <laughs> Literally, when I read the last two sentences, no, the last sentence of the final page, I was just, what? So, I don't want to tell you what happened because I really don't want to spoil this book. I really think this book is really good. So, if you guys are like really intrigued on what happened in the end, I suggest you guys go buy this book. But the end was just like, what? I think it might be predictable to some people but then again I did not predict that at all because I honestly thought of a different outcome for the ending. Also speaking of the plot, oh my god, once you hit chapter 10 the plot suddenly changes into something else and I was just like wait 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 wait, what happened? Why? What? I was like something? I'm I feel like I'm missing something. Hey guys, it's editor Aina right here. So I decided not to mention the sudden plot change for you guys because you guys won't have the same shooketh effect as I did when I read this book. So yeah. All the previous chapters is actually kind of like the plot is building up or like hinting about Elle and this power that she has and this um power of her turning into a dark witch and all and that's actually mentioned in the synopsis so all this while i thought the plot was going to be about that and the ending was going to have something relating to that like oh is she going to turn into a dark witch or whatever but no the last three chapters like the last four chapters is totally about something else overall i really enjoyed this book i loved it i love the reading like i say it's a breath of fresh air because i haven't read a good magical story for so long um i think it's going to be a trilogy for this book uh for this series the scholomance if i'm not mistaken because i know that the third book is going to be out soon yeah i'm looking forward to read the second book soon and I hope you guys like pick this book up if you guys see this in bookstores because to me I really enjoy this book. I would give the first book a 5 out of 5 because I enjoyed it from start to finish. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming this. Um, if you guys do enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you guys want to comment down below. If not, comment the yellow sparkling emoji in the comment section so that I know you guys have watched to this far. Um, if you guys haven't, please do subscribe. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>